Hi, and welcome to another crochet video from your favorite crochet YouTuber. Today we're gonna crochet this beautiful cropped long sleeve mesh top and we will write the crochet pattern for it together. Let's get started! As you might already know, I am a crochet pattern designer. That means I design crochet garments, write the instructions for them and sell them online. And maybe you are watching this video because you think I want to write my own crochet pattern, but don't know where to start. Or maybe you just want to recreate the mesh top. Well, by the end of this video, you will know how to do both. So I thought instead of just talking and explaining, I will show you the process of writing a crochet pattern by actually writing a crochet pattern with you together in just five simple steps. People ask me to make this tutorial and I am really excited to show you some of the work I do. I just want to let you know that this is my way of writing patterns. That's how I feel the most comfortable with and what I personally think is the easiest way. But that doesn't mean that this is the only right or correct way. Figure out for yourself how you like to write crochet patterns. I just want to share some of my thoughts and tips with y'all. But anyways, let's start with step one, general information. Before you start writing your own crochet patterns, buy some patterns from other creators that are a little bit more experienced than you and just have a look at their pattern, how it's structured, um, maybe cute little details you like and just get an overall impression of a crochet pattern itself and Think about what you personally want in a crochet pattern. Whether if it's a cute design or if it's a lot of photos, maybe some videos, drawings, whatever. Just think about what you would like to see in a crochet pattern you buy. Step two, inspiration. If you don't know how to start or if you don't have an exact design in your mind, then get some inspiration. Maybe go outside, take a walk, maybe something plops into your head or maybe scroll through Pinterest, get some ideas somewhere, but never copy, that's very important. Create your own things. Whenever you know what you want to create, make a little sketch. Imagine how you would like the end result to look like so that you never forget what your initial initial thought was but if you change your mind while crocheting then go for it that's what I like to do I change my designs often because maybe something doesn't work out and I have to change some things but just to keep in mind what I initially wanted to make also make a little swatch and that means you just crochet a little piece where you try out different things like different hook sizes, maybe you change the stitch pattern you want to uh, then create and just try some different things until you like the, the texture and the design in general of the piece you are gonna make. And whenever you have your design in your head or on paper and whenever you know what stitches you want to use and what hook size write that down that will be the sentence you will hear all the time write everything down write down your hook size the stitches you used the yarn brand and every information you might find helpful later. I sometimes start a project and when I come back to the project later, I forgot, for example, the hook size because I used that hook for a different project in between. So write everything down that you will not forget maybe for a later moment. Step three, crochet and measurements. Just start crochet. You have your design in your head and then you just start. Start somewhere. Pattern writing is a lot of frogging and redoing and starting all over again because it didn't work out how you wanted it to be. But to start just imagine in your head like picture where it would be the best to start. After some time you it will get easier and easier 
so just start also measurements i don't think of measurements in the beginning but I try to make my designs simple so that also the measurements will be simple and there won't be a lot of measurements but just to give you an example I knew exactly how long I wanted the top to be and that was from the top of my shoulder to about 25 centimeters but we will talk about measurements later then while actually crocheting the top step four take notes, photos, videos, whatever. Just write everything down and document as much as possible. It might be crazy in the beginning because it's a lot to do and it holds you back from actually crocheting but later then if you really want to write crochet patterns for not just for yourself but for other people it's so so helpful when then actually writing the pattern because you don't always see from the finished piece what you did when you crocheted it because just because you in your head know what you did and how it's supposed to be not everyone will get that and not everyone will understand just by words so write everything down as many notes as possible as many photos videos as possible uh, make little drawings whatever step five when you reach step five you are now done writing everything down and crocheting your piece and now you actually start writing the pattern into a pdf document or on your computer or whatever what i personally like in crochet patterns is when they are short and simple when there are as many infos in there as possible i rather have an extra page of informations i don't need then not enough information so that I can't finish the piece I want to make easy written not like a very complicated English or um, words I never heard of <laughs> and I also like when there are little drawings illustrations um, also pictures or videos but as I said think about what you want the pattern to be um, think about your design think about how you want the pattern to be is it gonna be a beginner friendly pattern or is it a pattern for more experienced people do you need a lot of photos uh, because there are many complicated parts or do you like to work with videos like just think of how you would like the pattern to be if you would buy that pattern you're gonna write if that makes sense all right so let's start with crocheting and writing the pattern I'm gonna show you step by step how I crocheted the mesh top how you can recreate it and I will show you all my notes I took for then writing the pattern. Here's a close up from the stitches and the very first page of my notebook. I made a little drawing and included some general information and even created a stitch chart. Here's the list of everything you need. I used Mondial Cotton Soft Bio, which is fingering yarn and a 3.5 millimeter hook. We're gonna crochet a front and back panel and two identical sleeves. At the end we will crochet all the pieces together and make a row of single crochets around the border. Measure around your shoulders and take half of that measurement so you know how wide your front and back panel is gonna be. Chain as many you need to reach that measurement. Just make sure that the amount of chains is dividable by three and then add two more chains and one more for the turning chain. For my top I chained 140 chains and one more chain as turning chain. Wow that was many chains. <laughs> And you can already guess what I did next. I wrote everything down into my notebook, just exactly what I did. I always find it helpful to use shortcuts. It just makes everything so much faster. Now let's start with our first row. And we're gonna start our row one with something I like to call a starting double crochet. 
you basically just make a normal single crochet into the first chain and insert your hook into this left loop of the single crochet and make another single crochet into that loop. Now make one double crochet into the next stitch and chain one. Now skip the next stitch and make two double crochets, chain one, skip the next stitch, make two double crochets, chain one, and just continue until you reach the end of the row. This is what your first row should look like. And of course, I'm gonna write down everything I did so far. Now let's start with our second row. Turn your project and make two regular single crochets. Place the third single crochet into the chain space. That's the space where you chained one in your previous row. And instead of making a single crochet into the stitch, place your hook under the stitch in the gap between the two double crochets and make a regular single crochet. Continue making single crochets until you reach the end of the row. And you basically just repeat row 1 and row 2. Uh, that's all you have to know for now. You just make uh, one row of double crochet, skipping a stitch, two double crochet, skipping a stitch, and one row of regular single crochets until you reach the length you want to have. For the top that I made, I did 33 rows. That's about 25 centimeters. Here you can see how to measure the length of front and back panel. What I also like to do when taking notes is not just measuring myself, but also then measuring the piece that I made, just to make sure and double check. And as you can see, I am writing down every possible information I can think of. And what I also like to do when taking notes is making little drawings, just to make the notes even more clear and understandable. Moving on with the sleeves, here you can see something I tried but didn't work out. I tried to do some shaping, but we're gonna go the easier way. Measure around your upper arm and add some centimeters so that the sleeves won't be too tight and that it's comfortable to wear. Chain as many you need to reach that measurement and simply crochet the same pattern you did for the front and the back panel. Here's how you can actually measure the length of the sleeves. But what I did was I just crocheted some rows, tried the piece on to see if I liked the length and then continued making some rows. The first thing we're gonna crochet together is the front and the back panel. And we're gonna leave a hole in the middle for the neck. I want to be able to wear the top off shoulder, so I will leave a big hole, but you can make it smaller if you want to. Just measure from one shoulder to the other, and just make sure that there's enough space for your head to go through. 
Now before actually crocheting it together I like to use some stitch markers and to try the piece on just to check how it would look like. To crochet the pieces together just use slip stitches. Make sure that you're crocheting the inside of the top together. Insert the yarn, chain one to secure and insert your hook into the first stitch of the front panel and the first stitch of the back panel. Grab your yarn and pull through all the loops and just continue slip stitching the pieces together until you reach your measurements. Repeat what you just did on the other side of the panel. To connect the sleeves, place the panel center to the top and slip stitch it together, like you just did with uh, the shoulder part. Use some stitch markers to mark the center of the pieces, or you can just count stitches, whatever you prefer. I like to use stitch markers, that's just so much easier. I folded the sleeves to get the middle of it. Now fold your whole project and crochet the sleeves together and also the part on the side of the top. That's what it looks like so far, now I just have to connect the other sleeve. And when you're done crocheting everything together, make a row of single crochet on the neck, the sleeves and the bottom of the top. Here are all my notes again. Take a screenshot and have fun with your mesh top. That was a lot of fun. It took me a lot of time to record this video, but it was totally worth it. I hope you like it. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to write crochet patterns. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.